Good evening, everybody. How are we? It is just gone nine o'clock on Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2013. I would have looked across to my other little screen, but I've got something else covering the date. <laughs> good job I remembered. And good job I changed it on my sheet as well, because it still said the 3rd of September. Um, but there you go. I digress. We have got uh, the usual kind of stuff coming up. We're going to be looking at this a little bit later, which is the Jack Vapor PCC which I took to work on Saturday uh, for I was doing some work on Saturday so I uh, decided I would do some filming on Saturday makes sense doesn't it uh, <laughs> while I was waiting for things to happen so we've got that coming up in part two also another little look a little revisit look at the Magoo which I've been using quite a lot since uh, I took it out of the box um, but all that is going to happen once I find my titles which are here somewhere I know they are yes there they are after the titles and they're coming up Right now. The scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And a very good evening to you on this uh, Tuesday night. It's getting dark, isn't it? And it's getting rather cold. And I was thinking to myself earlier on, is it time to put the heating on? Uh, and you know, I am from Yorkshire, so no, it's not time to put the heating on. <laughs> it is a bit, in, uh, get a bit cold though, I have to say. A bit of a chill in the air. Uh, and you know, during the summer, I could look out of my window in my little office come studio and, and see it was still light when I was going on. But now it's pitch black out there. And it's just lovely and light in here. <sighs> there you go. Next week it's going to be um, a little bit hotter for me. More about that later. <laughs> but we're going to start this week with a bit of news. I was looking on the Twitter feeds earlier. And Glenis, dear Glenis, was um, lamenting at this particular article that she saw in The Guardian. Yes, tobacco product, uh, tobacco giant Philip Morris spent millions in bid to delay EU legislation. Uh, and um, she was waxing there about the fact that they've spent something like 125 million and they've had 161 people to combat a proposed products directive. Um, yes, there is more and lots more. Uh, and uh, I did reply to her um, <laughs> saying that, uh, in, in my view, it was the uh, Conservatives looking at the bigger picture and not being railroaded um, by the Labour MEPs, which is basically what they're trying to do, isn't it? They're saying that, you know, that the uh, tobacco companies are lobbying them to try and stop it and try and using delay tactics. But at the same time, the Labour MEPs are trying to railroad everybody else to make a decision. Well, as you know, it's not happening until the 8th of October now. Ah, oh, what a shame. We've got a bit more time, haven't we? We've got more time to do our lobbying and the lobbying that matters because we as consumers, as the people who use these devices, are not lobbying. We're passing on our thoughts and our fears to the right people, and they are listening. The wrong people want to railroad. The right people are listening. So uh, we've got a bit more time, and um, it's due to lots of things, really. And I think that as a community, we have done what we intended to do, which was push this back. We've had some help from the tobacco companies, obviously, but you know they're looking at a different way. They're looking at the Tobacco Products Directive from a tobacco point of view. We're looking at it from our point of view. And I think that combined uh, has, um, has made a difference. And those people that were against us and against our view at the beginning have come round because we've given them the information that they needed to make a proper decision. So um, I'm sure Dave Dolan will be talking about that more tomorrow on VT Talk uh, and over the coming weeks uh, until the next vote goes through on the 8th of October. So keep watching Vapor Trails TV for more information on that. And of course, the Twitter feeds and the Facebook feeds are going to be alive with lots of stuff in the interim period. 
Um, so enough about Glenys, because you we know what she likes. And you know, nobody will change my mind on that. Yeah, we know what she wants, but there you go. Let's go on to some lighter things. Let's look at this week's Show Us Yours Gallery and then we'll see who's won and then we'll have a bit of Juicy Juicy. And then in part two, we're gonna look at the Magoo again and we're gonna look at the Jack Vapor PCC. <sighs> and look forward to next week's World Vaping Day on Thursday. Yes, anyway, coming up now, Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. <music> yours sponsored by flavor art uk yes that was this week's show as yours gallery and i've been watching chat there you like the music yes nice bit of music there uh, from the place i normally get my music from and i was looking for something a little bit beachy and a little bit latin really because i'm on holiday next week oh yes uh, and i'm not going to jamaica but i am going somewhere else in the caribbean <laughs> <laughs> and it looks a bit like this. Yeah, it looks a bit like that. Uh, but sometimes it looks a bit like this. So I'm hoping it's not like the second one. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, so this week is the last uh, show of yours for a little while. And uh, this week's winner is, it's Robert Emmett. And I put together the little collage earlier from all the pictures that Robert has sent in. Um, and as you can see, they are rather nice. So congratulations, Robert. I will email you after the show and tell you how you get your juice. And as I said, this is going to be the last show of yours for three weeks because I'm on holiday as of tonight, people. Oh, yes. So there'll be no show for me until the 8th of October. But you can send your pictures in to vapescene at vapetrails.tv. And when I return, 
on the 8th of October, we will have a bumper edition. Uh, and I'm hoping to bring lots of vaping pictures from Mexico, which is where I should be jetting off next Wednesday morning. Ooh, I only booked it yesterday. I gotta say, yes, booked it yesterday. We go next week and I'm really excited. Because <laughs> the last time was two years ago. Anyway, I digress, as I do. Um, so yes, no show is yours um, for the next few weeks and keep an eye out on the Vapor Trails TV, Facebook and Twitter feeds for what is going to be on in my place. You never know, you might get some team talk, which is a very good show. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's go on to uh, Juicy Juicy. And Davey sent me some video last week. And here it is. Juicy 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 was chatting with a guy on Facebook and he wanted some Red Estere and I had a bottle which was too strong for me, it was 24 milligrams and that's too much for me. Um, so I offered to send him that and he very kindly sent me in return some long bottom leaf pipe sauce. Now, those of you who know me, I'm not a fan of tobacco flavours. So this is going to be quite interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like, but at the same time I'm a bit... Um, apprehensive shall we say. So I'm going to use it on the Vamo on the octopus just because I don't want to fill up a tank and waste a load of juice. So first off we'll have a smell of it and it smells ooh, juice up my nose. It smells quite sweet but there's definitely a tobacco hint to it. That's actually quite pleasant I don't mind that. So I pop some in here. Just a couple of drops. Just in case I don't like it. There we go. Okay, that is very pleasant. It's quite sweet, it's got a, a nice little sweetness to it, but there's definitely quite a, a heavy tobacco aftertaste and that has changed my opinion of tobacco flavours. That's really quite nice. Vapour is great. The flavour is superb and for it's I mean that's only a 12 milligram juice. The throat hit on that that I'm getting is very good. I'm really really impressed with that. Like I said, that has changed my opinion of tobacco juices, and that's one that I, I, look, I couldn't use it all day, but it's one definitely that I'm going to consider buying some more of once that's run out, because I'm pleasantly surprised with that. So there you go, that's pipe sauce, long bottom leaf, and I'm going to have to try some more of those. Thanks for watching, catch you later. And thank you very much to Davey with his long bottom leaf. <laughs> Just watching chat there. Sarah, you can enter Show Us Yours as much as you like. You may not win all the time, but uh, you know, if, if you go into the hat, you can get pulled out of the hat. So um, send your pictures in. Uh, and Mad Ray, where are you going? Let me know in the break, which is coming up. Uh, when I find the adverts which are here and then um, after that when we come back we're going to do uh, look at the uh, Magoo, uh, a little follow-up and also the Jack Vapor PCC kit which I will be taking on holiday next week. See you in two minutes. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
iWeber and iWeber Alexa. Best in Yorkshire for your EC needs. That's iWeber.co.uk and iWeber-Alexa.co.uk. iWeber and iWeber-Alexa.co.uk. Pro sponsors of WeberTrails.tv. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And yes, indeed, welcome back to what I like to call part two. What it is, part two. <laughs> Watch and chat again during a break there. Um, nice hotel that is, Madre, the Moon Palace. Uh, we will be in Playdor Carmen. So uh, ping me on Facebook if you want to meet up for a beer and a vape at Senior Frogs. Uh, I am planning a little vape meet, if I can, at Senior Frogs on the 19th of uh, September, which is next Thursday, for it is World Vaping Day. So I've been pinging out on various forums that I use uh, in the Playdor Carmen area. Uh, for the locals uh, and I've also been trying to find out if there's any vaping shops and stuff that I can go and have a look at because the last time I was there I was more interested in buying cheap fags uh, <laughs> and I don't do that anymore do I? No. Um, but also on uh, on World Vaping Day there are a couple of meetings going on uh, there'll be quite a few meetings going on but uh, one's going to be in Barnsley that Russell is organising so check out the Facebook page for that um, but also also if I can find the video which is here somewhere I know it is, there it is. Uh, Mr. Dibley, yes, is having a little meet with Super 7. And it looks a little bit like this. Yes, so that's what Mr. Dibley is going to be doing with uh, watching television while you wee. It's very good. Uh, <laughs> if you have something going on as well, um, let us know because we can get you out there um, on Dave's Tackle Box maybe on Sunday because he does shout outs for meetings. So get your meetings known uh, and then everyone can get along and make it as big as possible. Right, we better go on to my bit of VT now because it is uh, getting on uh, and I'm going to go over time already because I've been waffling as I do. Anyway, here we go. We're going to look at the Magoo and also at the Jack Vapor PCC, uh, which um, I rather like. Well, hello, good afternoon. Well, it's good morning, really, because it's about 11 o'clock on Saturday uh, and I've been working this morning having uh, mucked about with some servers and I'm just sat in my car waiting for all the other work in the office to be done so I can go back and turn all the servers back on again. Oh yes, so uh, having just watched um, Taken 2 
on my <laughs> on my Samsung Galaxy phone um, on the old Sky Go app um, via 4G uh, because I'm currently in Leeds and the 4G um, signal is I have to say amazing uh, and I'm on EE that's my service provider now having uh, decided to ditch O2 after uh, 15 or so years uh, and uh, 39 meg download speed on my phone it was totally amazing so I've just watched Taken 2 with Liam Neeson and uh, Famke Jamsen uh, and uh, it was uh, really good so uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of video now having uh, <laughs> having watched Taken 2 uh, which I rather enjoyed I have to say anyway I'm still using the uh, Magoo which I showed you on last week's show and it's on its third or fourth I think it's fourth fill now um, you remember when I showed you it, I was using the GCJ from Emporium Vapor I then moved on to some Life's a Peach um, from the Esig Wizard range uh, and this is um, Melon Madness I think it's called or Melon Magic one of the other I'll have it back at home so I will tell you um, after this bit of VT when we're back in the studio exactly what it is but I do believe it's Melon Magic um, 24 milligram um, and I have a bit of a sore throat um, I've got a bit of tonsillitis so um, throat it wise I can't really tell you about it because everything feels like I'm vaping on glass at the minute um, but flavour wise it's very very tasty mm. and as you can see by the total white out of vapour there this thing just produces and produces and produces um, it's only on about 9 watts on the SID with the uh, 18650 battery on as opposed to the 18350 that it came with so using my EVIC tube um, with the 18650 creates the, uh, the SID a little bit larger um, and um, I've been using the Magoo pretty much um, constantly since um, I took it out of the packet And you can see by how much vapour this thing kicks out, uh, it's working, 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 like you would not believe. And if I can get it close to, I'm not sure if you're going to see that, but I've got, you know, about that much of the wick showing um, by moving the mouthpiece. And of course at the very bottom inside, there's a small hole either side where the juice does um, wick. But you can, as I, uh, as I showed you in the BT last week. Uh, increase the amount of wick seen uh, and I have it fairly open so that's probably why I'm getting such good vapour production yes so there you go so I'm still really really enjoying the Magoo um, and um, I'm going to have some more juice through it later because I'm going to be finishing this soon but what else i brought with me today is uh, is this the jack vapor vip kit uh, and we'll go to the studio uh, and i'll show you the vt that i'm going to do on it uh, and when we come back you can see what it's like we have got uh, the jack vapor vip kit uh, and i won this as part of my raffle prize at Vapefest uh, 2013 so uh, I thought I would bring it out and I'm going to be using this on my holiday uh, which is going to be from next week um, so what do you get in your box well this is what you get I'll just put that to one side and I've obviously opened this already but you get your PCC your personal charging case um, and depending on what you've actually ordered you may get uh, one of a few things. Um, you do get the USB charging cable. You get some different coloured bungs, bungs, for the cartomizers, and you also get a couple of pink plastic caps, which fit on the end of your batteries, turning the LED light from a blue to a kind of a reddy orange. Uh, you also, of course, get some instructions 
um, in the bottom of the box and an instruction book in the top of the box. And here we have the PCC, the personal charging case itself. And if you just slide the lid open, you will see that there is a battery already in there, plus the spare battery. So if I just take the spare battery out, you'll see on the end, that's the uh, the blue cover for the LED. If I just press the button, you'll see it lights up blue. Uh, and you can change, you can just flip this blue one out and put the orangey ready one on. Uh, and that will give you a different colour glow. Uh, I'm going to keep this blue. And then there's no ambiguity about what I'm actually using. Um, in order to charge, what you do is you screw into the little connector here. This just screws in. And then once you flip it over and press the little button, which is here, you press that button for a few seconds, it will flash. And the light comes on to indicate that this is charging and that light will flash until it's finished charging and at which point all the lights will go out. Now I have been using this one so it will it will be uh, charging for a while and then simply just shut it again uh, and there we go. So it's, uh, it's saying now it's charging. Once that light goes out and the blue light goes out then you know it's charged. Um, this unit did come with these, which are the Jack Vapor Solo Carts, uh, and these are designed for this battery, uh, and depending on how you configure your item when you buy it from Jack Vapor, you can actually buy it with these pre-filled cartos, or you can get it with a couple of unfilled ones that you fill yourself, uh, and that's when the little bungs come into, into use, really, because you can have a different coloured bung. So you could have green for menthol, for instance, uh, or black for licorice, or red for strawberry. Um, and then you kind of indicate how you've, uh, how you've got it flavoured up. Um, and I'll just take this out. I've already used one. And they come in a little blister pack. You just pop it out like you would a pill <laughs> and put it on. So I'll just take out the one that I've been using, which is this one. And it is as simple as peas, as someone else from the north says quite a lot. And literally, take off the two bungs that come on it, the two little silicon caps, uh, and it literally screws on to the end. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then just press your button, blue light goes on, and, and you're vaping. Smashing. All, all good, all good. Now what you can do is you can flip out the end using a cocktail stick or a paper clip and you can see the wadding uh, and this will be no problem to refill. Um, just add a few drops until it is soaked enough and then Bob's your uncle. Uh, and I'm not sure how long you can actually use this for but I will be taking it away with me uh, and I will be doing some filming when I'm away, as you do. Um, so I will see how long one of these lasts and see what it's like with other juices in. Um, but the way I figure it is if I take two of these in the personal charging case away, take some of these cartos and take a, a bottle of juice, um, I can use this and if, I, if it gets lost then fair enough. Um, but there you go. And it quite happily fits in your case, so you've got one on charge and one ready to go. Close it up, put it in your pocket, and away you go. So uh, that's the, the Jack Vapor VIP. So far, proving to be uh, not a bad little device, to be fair. Um, I'll be taking it away, as I said, and I shall let you know how I get on. So let's go back to the car. Yeah, let's go back to the car. So yeah, the Jack Vapor VIP kit, uh, which is a personal charging case. Uh, and as you saw in the VT there, open it up, you've got one that you can keep on charge and a little slot here that you can have one that's charged with the end on. And this is an 18 milligram tobacco that I put on. Um, very, very simple. Screw in your 
um, battery, close the case, press the button, press, <laughs> press the button, five seconds, these things flash, that flashes, and then on the inside, the blue light will light up to tell you it's charging, it goes out when it's finished, and there you go. So uh, put it in your pocket, you've got one battery on charge, one battery with a end on, keep a couple in your pocket, and you sorted uh, and vapor production wise I'm actually quite impressed decent amount of vapor from such a small battery uh, and from a, a kind of a siggy likey um, point of view not a bad um, vapor production at all flavor wise it is reasonably flavored tobacco um, with that kind of strange smell that you do get with the tobacco flavours, uh, especially on cigar lights. Um, slightly sweet, but um, quite pleasant, not unpleasant whatsoever. Um, quite pleasant, in fact. Throat it wise, um, even with my saw tonsils. <laughs> um, not a huge amount of throat tip, but you can see from the amount of vapour that's kicking around in my car now. Um, very, very good at the old vapour production. Um, but I shall keep vapour on this today. I brought this with me, just so I could have a little go on it, um, and um, give you my findings. You can, as I showed in the VT, take the little blue end off and put a red end. Um, but I actually prefer the blue because it, then it looks nothing like a proper Siggy, even though it's black. Um, it looks nothing like a Siggy from far away. Blue light definitely, definitely means e-cig. Red light could be mistaken at distance for a proper fag. So uh, I'm going to keep it on the blue. Um, but uh, holiday-wise, I'm going on holiday soon, and I thought this would be perfect to take with me. A um, couple of batteries. I've got two boxes of the ends. Take a bit of juice, and then, you know, if I lose it, I haven't really lost much, have I? Um, and even, well, having said that, I won this as part of the raffle prize at Bakefest. Um, so uh, it hasn't even cost me anything, which is even better. Um, I'll find out how much they cost for you, uh, and uh, I'll tell you that down here somewhere um, and uh, this is from from Jack Vapor and they very kindly provided a whole kit uh, and two boxes of the pre-filled cartos which um, you've seen in the VT but there you go the uh, the Jack Vapor solo carts is uh, what came with it and this is the regular flavor uh, and they are 18 milligram um, and I have to say not too bad at all not too bad at all anyway that's it for me. I think I'm going to go and get a brew now and see um, how the work is progressing and see if I can actually get finished and get home uh, and uh, edit this. <laughs> back to the studio. Yes, back to me. Hello. Um, I put the end on, the other end on, the pink one, and it looks like that. You can see that. Yes, it's not red, it's pink. Um, so there's kind of no ambiguity really. It's a pink end. Uh, I'm going to stay with the blue end and not the pink end, I think. <laughs> um, but I thought it would just be good for a round and about uh, when I'm on holiday and then I'll have the larger mods in the safe uh, for use at night. I don't particularly want to take them to the beach, um, but take that to the beach. Put it in my little pocket, no problem at all. Um, well, I have gone over, as I normally do. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> I waffle too much. Uh, let me just tell you before I do depart that there is a meeting going on on the 26th of o October, a Welsh mini meet, uh, and it's in Cumbran. Um, so the details there, nathan.edwards88 at icloud.com. Um, look on UKV as well for the details of that meet, and I will remind you of that um, when I come back in October. And I'm sure uh, there will be other times when it will be put out there. So if you do have meets arranged, let us know and we can tell everybody about them. Um, so the rest of the week, tomorrow night, it is VT Talk with Dave Dawn and the effervescent loveliness 
that is Sav. On Thursday, Dave's back again with Vaping Daz and Keith for the Haze Hour. Sunday, Dave's Tackle Box with Dave Kitson. Monday, the boys are back in town. Tuesday, next week, keep an eye out on the uh, Twitter feed and the Facebook and the Vapor Charles TV forum and you'll find out what's going on. But don't forget that in about 10 minutes on this channel, there is DE Talk, uh, which is on, on Tuesdays after me. Uh, if you don't speak German and you like listen to the radio, you can catch Rob Taylor on RY4 Radio and of course Tim Boniface on Fridays at 9 o'clock on RY4 Radio. I will see you in three weeks-ish on the 8th of October. So until then, my friends, vape on, vape hard, keep it real. Tati bye. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>